Let's take a look at how we can work with states to evaluate what a learner has clicked and hasn't clicked. So let's say in this example we want uh, the learner to interact with these three buttons, but we don't want them to advance until uh, they've clicked each of the, uh, the buttons or viewed each of the content. So right now you can see that my button still is not available. I'm clicking each of these buttons, still nothing here. But when I click the third time, the third button, there's my continue button, and then now I can continue on. Really simple to do. Uh, I just need to add a few states to, uh, uh, triggers to evaluate uh, visited states of buttons. If you're following along, I'm working in conditional button start dot story, and we're gonna go ahead and just work with this uh, graphic here. So we have a few images. If I pull open my timeline, let's show you what we have. A couple characters, a couple buttons, and another button. So what we want is we want the learner to click each of these buttons show a, uh, a hidden object and only after clicking each of these buttons, these three buttons, make this uh, continue button uh, available to be clicked. So the way we set that up, at least let's just start with the continue button. By default, it is a, has a normal state, which means it's visible. Well, we can just hide it by using the disabled which is a custom state that I created here. I modified it a little bit. Or we could do hidden, but I don't want to hide the button. I want, to see a, I want the learner to see a piece of that button, just a part of it, but I want to communicate that it's not an active button. So um, I selected disabled, and I, we just faded this button out by about 50%. So there it is. Okay, so if I preview this real quick, that button won't be available. It'll, it won't show me the hover state like it would have if I had, um, had left it at normal. And I'm going to go ahead and just hide each of these characters. So because I don't want to show these characters until uh, the appropriate button has been clicked, we can just do this as hidden for each of them. And now let's go ahead and just set up a trigger for each of these buttons. So for the Twitter button, we're going to change the state of, in this case I will work with this first image. So character one, Twitter, to normal when the user clicks what? The Twitter button. Now I can just copy this to make this a little bit easier. So control C just to copy this or I can select the uh, copy trigger icon. And I'm gonna select the next button and I'll just paste it. And I can come in here real quick and just change this to character two. And I can also come in here, paste. I'm just pasting that first one I copied. Double click it and I'll just change her to character three. So let's just test this real quick. Those three characters are now hidden. The continue button is set to de uh, disabled, which means I can't click it, but I can see a part of it. Click each of these buttons. Now, the way we're able to evaluate this, and then see I still don't have access to the continue button. Each of these buttons has a visited state. So if I just select one and show you, visited is a built-in state. And each time you click an object, it registers as visited. So we want to evaluate when not just one of these is visited, but all three. Now, a lot of, uh, I've seen a couple of folks use variables to try to track that. You can do that, but it's a lot more work. Uh, we can just use a single trigger to evaluate it. And here's how it works. We'll create a new trigger, and we want to change the state of our continue button. So continue button to normal when a state, we want to see which state, but check this out, we can do all of. So this is so, I can select my Facebook button, I can select the LinkedIn, and Twitter. When all are visited, go ahead and make that button normal. Isn't that cool? Now watch. And watch what happens when I click the third hey, there's my button, and now we can uh, continue to the next slide. So pretty simple to do. Um, go ahead and play with the file. If you have any questions, uh, just post back to the forums.